Hi friends, we are from Pakistan. Our school is situated in the city of Rawalpindi. The name of our school is Army Public School and College Fort Road. I hope you will like the video that we made on what our religion, Islam, teaches us about creation of universe. Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Sarah Said, and today me and some of my friends are going to talk about the origin of the universe according to the Islamic belief. We Muslims believe that Allah Almighty is the creator of this universe and everything that is part of it, including the solar system, all the galaxies, black holes, comets, suns and moons, and our planet Earth, and we humans. Allah has told us the whole history of creation of the universe in his last book, Al-Quran. According to the Quran, the universe is only created by Almighty Allah and he is the supreme ruler of the universe. In Quran, at many places, Allah Almighty has explained origin of the universe and its purpose. Allah has created the universe in stages. Verse from Quran. What is the matter with you that you are not conscious of Allah's majesty, seeing that it is he who has created you in diverse stages? How the universe was created. There are many verses and books that explain that all that is on earth and in the universe is only created by Allah. Second important fact according to Quran is that humans have a definite purpose like other creations. Allah created this universe with Big Bang. The Quran says that the heavens and the earth were joined together as one unit before we separated. In the first stage, the Quran says that the heavens and the earth were joined together as one unit following this big explosion. Allah turned to the sky. He said, come together willingly or unwillingly. They said, we come together in willing obedience. Allah is the one who created the earth and the other celestial objects in the universe. Scientists say that before the galaxies in the universe were formed, all the celestial matter was in the form of gas or smoke. Therefore, in the second stage in which the elements and what were to become the planets and stars began to cool, come together and form into a shape. The Quran further states that Allah is the one who created the night and the day, the planets and the sun and the moon, each individually with their own courses or orbits. Bismillah. And Allah is he who created the night and the day and also the sun and the moon. All heavenly bodies are continually floating past in their respective orbits. Allah is the creator of all the living things. Creation of living things, humans, the noblest of all the other creatures and the other living things by Almighty Allah. Then Allah expanded the universe. Expansion of universe. Wasama abanainaha be wa inna la We constructed the universe with power and we are expanding it. Started by Quran centuries ago and discovered by scientists. Only recently, the universe is constantly expanding. It means increase of distance between two distant parts of the universe with them. You better understand this verse. The universe can be thought as the surface of a balloon being blown up. Mark some points on the balloon at different sites. Now blow up the balloon. We will see 
that the points on the balloon are moving away from each other. So, do the objects in space move apart from each other as the universe keeps expanding? Creation in six days. The Quran states that Allah created the heavens and the earth and all that is between them in six days. These verses are telling us the supremacy of Almighty Allah who has created the heavens and the earth in six days without anyone's help. Allah is never done with his work because the process of creation is ongoing. Each new child who is born, every seed that sprouts into a sapling, every new species that appears on earth is part of the ongoing process of Allah's creation. Allah the most purified is the creator and honor of all universe. He is alone, the Lord of all creations and listens to them and nurtures their every need. Life came from water. Allah tells us in the Quran, Allah has created every living creature from water and of them are those that move on their bellies and of them are those that walk on two legs and of them are those that walk on four. Allah creates what he wills. Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. This verse means that water is the building block of life, without which life is not possible. As we all know that all living organisms are made from cells, science now confirms that 80% of the cells are made up of water. Creation of Adam and Hava. The Quran teaches that human beings are unique life created by Allah in a special way, with unique gifts and abilities like any other soul, conscious, knowledge, and free will, and they do not involve the effort as scientists propose. Allah also created angels from light. These are very obedient pupils of Allah and do whatever Allah asks them to do. Allah also created jinns from fire. Some of them are obedient, but some are bad. The life of human beings within were two people, a male and a female named Adam and Hava. The Quran describes how Allah created Adam. We created man from surrounding clay, from mud, molded into shape, and he began the creation of man with clay and made his progeny from a coincidence of fluid. Let me tell you the story of Adam and Hawa. Allah created a human named Adam from soil gathered all over the earth. Adam was very good. He loved Allah and always listened to him. Allah created his wife, Hawa, too. They lived in a place called Tenna, our paradise. Now, the police didn't like Adam. He was arrogant and used to believe that Allah's creation is far more superior to Adam, as Iblis was created from fire and Adam from the soil. With the passage of time, Iblis became very jealous of Adam and didn't want Allah to be nice with him. In Tenna, there was a tree, and Adam and Hawa were told not to go near it. They could eat from any other tree, but just not that one. The police knew it was his chance, so he snuck up to Adam and Hawa and convinced them to eat from that tree, which they did. After eating from the tree, Adam and Hawa realized their mistake. Allah didn't like it and asked why they ate from that tree. Adam and Hawa felt very bad, so they said sorry to Allah, so he forgave them. Allah sent Adam, Hawa, and Iblis to earth. Iblis didn't say sorry to Allah and was furious for being expelled from Jannah. In his pride, he said that I'll keep coming after Adam, Hawa, and their kids and always mislead them until eternity. After that, Adam and Hawa had many children. Adam told his children about Allah and to always listen and pray to Allah. He also told his children of Iblis and his tricks because he is bad. Azim is the first messenger of Allah as well. From these two individuals, generations of human beings have inhabited the earth. Oh, humankind, 
were to get a year from a single pair of a male and a female and made you into nations and tribes so that you may know each other, not that you may despise each other. Purpose of a Muslim's life. In Holy Quran, Allah said, And I, Allah, did not create the jinns and the humans except that they may worship me alone. The purpose of our creation is to believe in the superiority of Almighty Allah, who is the creator of everything. We should follow his guidelines, pause and think about our actions, make good choices to please our creator. May Allah guide us all to be the best of his creation. Thank you all for your attention. I hope you enjoyed watching it.